Hi, welcome to .NET Code Snippet with Bootstrap. In my previous video, you see how to add header with Bootstrap in ASP.NET. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add tab in Bootstrap with header uh, in ASP.NET. Uh, just I see I shown you example here, home and uh, profile drop down list. When I click home button, the home content will be shown in below of that home. When I click on profile, that profile content will be shown. Uh, let's see the example here. Uh, just get go to the getbootstrap.com site. Just click on the JavaScript here. Here you need to click on the tab here. Here you see the example of tab is shown here. The home content is showing here. When I click profile, the profile content will be shown. The home content will be disappear. In this way, I'm going to show you, uh, show you how to design this. For that, we need to copy the HTML code of this content I just copy and paste in our project here I need a customization and removing the role presentation I play replacing instead of that ID L1 I'm only taking three and here Let's save it and you check the output what the display is showing here. I'm continuing this content to my previous project only. Okay. Something is missing. Okay. I didn't close it. Okay. The home profile message. Here yeah, home message content is not showing anything here because there is nothing written in that so let's write something not written anything on the home tab tab it's profile tab i don't want to display the setting okay removing this setting here now check it yeah home, home tab when i click on profile it's not showing profile tab message same as the message uh, for that, we need to add some JavaScript to display when I click on profile tab, the profile content will be shown. For that, we need to write some JavaScript. Let's write the JavaScript for that. Yeah. JavaScript type. Before that, I want to dis disable all these uh, tab content. For that, I return a predefined JavaScript here. Just copy and paste here. What happened? You see here when I refresh. Thing happened. Okay. Okay. Why it's not happen? Let me see. I didn't call that function. Now you see. When I refresh, the home tab content will be disappear. When I click profile, it nothing will be shown. Okay. Now I want to here write a JavaScript for that. When I click tab content, the tab message will be shown. When I click profile, the profile content will be shown. Before that, I want to disable the home content, whatever it's showing that I want to dis disable, and the same the the arrow that's showing here that will be disabled for this. I want to enable for the profile. Let's show how to achieve this. For that, I already write written a JavaScript. Just copy that and paste here. Mm. Similarly, for that profile and message, one to two. Messages. Profile. Okay. Just save it and refresh. Now we see 
when I click profile the profile content is showing when I click message message content is showing but here I see the something is happening here the when I click profile the whatever the this border line is not coming to the profile is showing only to the home why let me explain here here I retain a ID L1, L2, L3. The L1 class is active here. The only reason the borderline is showing here. I want to remove this class. I want to place when I click when I click this button the class will be applied to that particular tab only. Let's see how to achieve that. Okay, just save it and refresh the class here. I want to apply through JavaScript. Uh, let's apply. Okay. Home, home dot add class add class active. Okay, and I want to change this. Let's check the output. It's working or not? Okay. You can see here uh, when I click prof message, the message border will be showing. Yeah. But there's, there's something wrong here. But message type is not disabled. Let's check it. Why? messages okay now you see okay in this way we can add tab string asp.net page